It's a beautiful day here outside the West Hampton Community Center. Hampton City Schools has its minivan parked out front. A tent set up here behind me. I'm told this is all part of an effort to go back to basics and filling as many open positions as possible before the start of the new school year. We're outside near the street uh, and we're in a neighborhood. Um, so it was just a thought just to think outside the box a little bit. Maybe if we made ourselves accessible to people in the neighborhoods and they would be able to come and interview. And it's a plan that seems to be working. Our cameras caught several people getting interviewed on site, others filling out applications. District staffing specialist Sherry Hugger says this is the third pop-up hiring event like this. Here, she's looking mainly for food service workers, instructional assistants, and bus drivers. And she says the number of bus drivers needed is now just in the single digits. We will hire on the spot. And assistant principals are on standby for immediate interview needs, I'm told. Sign-on bonuses of up to $5,000 in added incentive. With the first day of school a little over two weeks away now, the need is urgent. This is all for our kids. We're going to make sure that we get quality people for them, that they will receive a quality education. Of course, a big part of that is having enough teachers. As of Monday, the district reported 115 openings to News 3, joining other area districts battling ongoing critical shortages. We're told hiring is happening all the time. Now, as far as teachers go, Hugger says some have come out here to this setup, but the school division tells me they want those folks to go to teachhampton.com. It's a website with all the information applicants need to know, a place to apply. We have that link in this story at WTKR.com. In Hampton, Anthony Sabella, News 3.